Welcome back to the Boo Tragedies, man. After day two of OTAs, finally we get some pictures, some insight from what's going on, you know, at these practices. We know Jameis Winston has been in the building, but today we find out he has been practicing. Um, even though it's been on a limited basis, he was still able to get some reps in. Uh, was still able to do some of the drills and stuff like that. Um, as it seems, no video on these things. I wish we could. Hopefully tomorrow uh, we'll get some video on some of these, uh, you know, these guys, some of these practices. But still in all, man, this is a great sign in a recovery process, man, that knowing that Jameis Winston is already back out there, obviously, after tearing his ACL, man, that's a super, super big deal. Because I remember he tore his ACL, I believe it was the last day in October, um, October 31st or something like that, and he had the surgery in November, early November, now being the middle of May, he's already out there, he's back at practice, even though it's on a limited base, and he's doing things with the guys, and it's just always good to have your starting quarterback, you know, on the field when OTA start, when practice start, even if he's not doing everything, it's still a good sign for him to be out there, and the recovery process seems like it's going great, hopefully he'll be ready by week one, all signs are pointing to that, because I mean, if he's out there in May, you have a couple more months before the season starts. So, man, it's just a good, good sign to see him out there. We have to realize, I mean, he was definitely the quarterback last year, but he didn't have chemistry with any of these guys. It's so many new faces uh, in the building, offensive line guys. You have to get chemistry with that, man. But you have to think, he's probably not going to have Elvin Kamara. So now you have to get chemistry with another running back. Um, the receivers, Michael Thomas didn't play a snap last year. He doesn't have any chemistry with him. Obviously, Chris Olave is a rookie. Jarvis Landry, only person he really has chemistry with is Traquan Smith and Marquez Callaway, and they've moved you know far down the depth chart um, as it seems for right now. Also have Taysom Hill playing, you know, full tight end role. Gonna have to get chemistry with him, you know, at that position. So man, it's gonna be a lot of um, chemistry issues, I wouldn't say issues, chemistry things that the Saints need to work on, guys getting on the same page, and that is just a good thing that he could be out there so they could get some things done, even though it probably won't be everything, but it's still a good thing, you know, to get some of these reps in with some of these new guys, uh, some of these guys that he's never worked with, and it's good for the coaching staff, man. Pete Carmichael, Dennis Allen can kind of get a look at some things uh, with their number ones. So I'm excited, man. I'm super excited. I'm glad that he's out there. I wish they had videos coming out, man, of uh, OTAs. Of course, like the Saints are the only team I've been watching. And just, hey, just give us a little something, man. We're addicts. We're all addicts. We just need a little couple highlights here and there, a couple catches, a couple pass deflections, man. We don't want a lot. We're not asking for 60 minutes of game film. The Saints, look. We just need a couple videos to hold us over for this first little session of OTAs. This session does end tomorrow. It's a, a three-day session. Uh, then they come back with another three-day session. I have to look up those dates again to see when the next three-day session will be. But, man, this first three days, hey, we got uh, – MT in the building, that's better than last year. Jameis Winston's out there, that's also a good sign. So, man, we'll see what's going on. Hopefully, like I said, they get up some video so we can watch some of these things. But, man, Jameis Winston is at practice. He is at OTAs. He is participating. That is the big news of OTAs for me, at least, because coming off the ACL, I know it's, it just happens every year, the ACL injury, but it's still a major, major injury, man. I'm glad he's recovering well from it. And he deserves to have a full offseason, you know, with him as quarterback one. No taste from breathing down his back. He knows he's the guy and he deserves to have a full offseason you know with all of those factors coming into play man so I think that will definitely build his confidence definitely help the team definitely help him and we'll see how it goes man it's super super early but the main news is Jameis Winston is back out there let me know what y'all think about that in the comments below as always just the boot tragedies and I'm out